What's up my foundation lovers? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is another Foundation Friday. Now if you're new to my channel, I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews and tutorials on Sundays. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. But today, I must say I'm a little upset because I did this little mask last night hoping to have flawless skin for today's video since I'm like, you know, all up close and personal on the internet. No big deal. But then these two zits showed up and decided to make a special appearance. But then I realized that today's foundation is actually for acne prone skin. So I was like, well, I guess it works to have acne in this video. But these two zits were like, we volunteer as tribute. Nobody asked for you. Today's foundation is by e.l.f. Everybody loves e.l.f. because it's super affordable. Everything's like $1, $3, $6. Not many things are more than 10, but this foundation was $6 and it says it's their acne fighting foundation. This actually is their Sicilic acid acne treatment. Now, if you have acne prone skin, you know that Sicilic acid and benzoyl peroxide are like our best friends. Everything we buy has those two ingredients. We sound like scientists when we talk about it, but those are always like the acne fighters. So to have it in this foundation is pretty intriguing. I got the color coffee. And it says that this is a lightweight foundation that helps disguise redness, ooh, perfect, blemishes and uneven skin tone. They might as well have just said, Bianca, this foundation is for you. It's infused with acne fighting key ingredients like sicilic acid, witch hazel, camphor, I don't really know what that one is, tea tree, and soothing aloe. <gasps> Those are a lot of good ingredients. I'm actually really excited to use this now. The directions say to use a foundation brush. I usually use a beauty blender, but how about this? How about I do a brush on one side of my face and a beauty blender with the other, and let's let's see how it does. So I decided to get the e.l.f. primer as well. The girl at the store recommended it. I've never tried it before, but she said it was gonna keep me matte, and I was like, girl, I get real oily, and she was like, I got you. So this is e.l.f.'s Aqua Beauty Aqua Primer Mist. Okay, it's alcohol and silicone free. Enriched with purified water, cucumber, vitamin B and E, it leaves skin looking dewy and fresh. Probably should have read that before I got it. The fact that it says dewy kind of makes me nervous and kind of makes me not want to use this because ain't nobody trying to be dewy when you got oily skin. But I'll try it, but I'm scared. All right, so let's try this for the first time. For the first time in forever. Disney fans? No, just me? Okay. And I'm just gonna spray this. It says to spray it eight to 10 inches away from the face. Oh, right in the eye. Okay. <laughs> first of all, this is a strong miss. I'm thinking we need like 20 inches away from the face. That's strong. I feel like I just put on my primer via squirt gun. So here's the packaging. It comes in this little plastic twist top bottle. It actually looks almost identical to Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Plus foundation. Like if you put these side by side, you probably would grab the wrong one. One thing that I don't really like about the packaging right off the bat is that it does have like this tinted bottle. So you're not actually seeing the true color of the foundation. It's kind of like making it more white. So you don't know what color you actually got until you open it out of the box and with the top off. So let's take the top off and pray that I got the right color. And I'm going to apply with a brush on the side of my face. Ooh, the color is like perfect for my skin tone. Oh, look at it cover my dark circles. <gasps> Yo. Cover the acne scars. Wow. I prejudge this, I will admit. I didn't think I was gonna get this good of a coverage, but it's doing really good. I'm so excited, I like it. I love when cheap products are good. And the fact that this has 0.5% sicilic acid is clutch. Okay, so there's one side of my face. I was able to do the lower half. I didn't really get to go to my forehead and that was off of like one good pump. So it blended out really well with the foundation brush, but now I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender because that's what I normally do and I'm curious. So I'm gonna put another drop on here. 
that much. And I'm going to start here. It's on the forehead. You know, I'm just going to share. We're just going to share the forehead. Hmm. I just feel like using a beauty blender is faster. Okay, there we go. There is my full face of foundation. So now I'm going to complete the rest of my face. There we go. Full face ready. So my current thoughts, it went on very well with the rest of my makeup. I think I'm getting pretty good coverage and I look pretty matte right now. I did set it with powder, so I hope that keeps me matte for a very long time. Um, the bottle is very compact, it's plastic, and it does have a little nozzle, so I like to be able to, to squeeze out the product. On the e.l.f. Cosmetics website right now, there's only five shades listed, but then when I Google it, I find eight shades. So according to the website, it has to be wrong because my color is coffee and coffee isn't even on the website right now like the last darkest color is caramel but it should be going caramel coffee and then cocoa so there's actually only one darker shade than me but there are supposedly eight different colors in total so it is currently 2 p.m and i'm going to be wearing this for the rest of the day to see how well it holds up now i will be nice because nowhere on the packaging does it claim to be long wearing long lasting doesn't say like 24 hours or anything so i won't be too mad at it if it doesn't last all day but i'm still curious to see how it does so i will be back in a couple hours and we'll see how shiny i get and i'm back once again it is now 11 15 pm so this makeup has been on my face for a total of nine hours and 15 minutes it's a very long day for something not claiming to last all day. Okay, so now I got my blotting sheet, so I'm gonna do one last blot. I think I just look tired at this point. And here's the oil from this point. So overall, I think this foundation did a really good job for only being $6. It gave me pretty full coverage, and it lasted all day long. I didn't get as greasy as I thought I was gonna be, I just love the fact that this has so many great ingredients in it from salicylic acid to tea tree to aloe to witch hazel. It actually has stuff that is going to help clear your skin because you know if you have acne, people say not to wear makeup because you're making it worse. But as an acne prone girl myself, there's no way I'm gonna walk out the house with a huge breakout. We use makeup. So it's cool to have makeup that's actually there to help the acne and cover it at the same time. If you've tried this foundation before, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it and how well it worked for your acne prone skin. If you have a foundation that you want me to try, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know your favorite primer, your favorite moisturizer, what you do for your acne prone skin. We all gotta use the comments to help each other out. Make sure you follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.